uh, meteorologist Michael Sager. How are you doing? Because I hope you got some good news. You got rainfall amounts back there. What's going on? We've got rain chances that will be increasing as we head into the upcoming weekend, but at least we've got today to uh, enjoy. Well, let's go ahead and get a look at those rainfall amounts, and this is going to take us through the weekend, basically through Monday, as we'll see our highest rain chances uh, through the weekend and early next week. But the highest rainfall totals will be across southern portions of the region three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, maybe locally some higher amounts possible. But notice it's not going to amount to a whole lot for those of you to the north. There will be some of us that don't even get a half inch of rain. There may be a handful of spots that don't even get a quarter inch of rain out of this as we look here across northern portions of the region. Data just continues to push the heaviest of the rain, which we thought we might see earlier in the week, just continues to push it south, Red River Valley southward into portions of Texas. But We've got a great start out there this morning. Woo, yeah, look at this view here. South Tulsa Cam, Wade's RV Weather Camera Network looking mighty, mighty good. Clear skies overhead, comfortable temperatures thanks to the drier air that we have in place. So our numbers this morning are running a bit below average. In fact, 60 degrees in Bristol right now to even 61 in prior. That is comfortable for August standards. Now we'll heat things back up close to seasonal averages by later this afternoon. Our average high is about 93. We're going to go about 92 for the high sunshine. A few clouds mixed in. Overall, though, a great Friday to finish out the week. If you've got any Friday evening plans, heading out to dinner later on this evening, you're going to be in good shape. No problems at all. We're back into the low 80s by about 10 o'clock. Overall, fairly comfortable. Now, by late tonight into early tomorrow, we may have a chance for a few showers and storms to approach the uh, Oklahoma and Kansas line. Even a slight chance some of this works into Tulsa tomorrow morning. All thanks to a cold front that's to our north that'll sag a little farther south as we go into tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. So that chance of thunderstorms might be a little bit higher closer to I-44 as we go into tomorrow. And a couple of these tomorrow could actually be on the strong side with a wind and hail threat. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go into tomorrow. We're not looking at widespread severe weather, but maybe a couple stronger storms or maybe marginally severe storms possible tomorrow. Then once we get into Sunday, Sunday morning, widespread rain and some thunder looking likely, and then we'll push the higher chances of rain farther to the south as we go into Sunday afternoon. And eventually the heaviest rain continues to work its way south into Texas as we go into early next week. Now with the higher rain chances on Sunday, you'll notice those temperatures into the 80 degree range for the high. So significant cooler, significantly cooler, I should say, to finish out the weekend. And then we're back up into the low 90s into much of the middle of next week. And we will take you through the end of next week and into next weekend in that 10 day forecast coming up in the next half hour.